our generation is the new generation, the modern Malaysia. We are a generation that often find ourselves caught in between modernity and tradition. We are a generation that often find ourselves caught in between what's right and what is wrong. My generation has the capacity to transform society. My generation is brave. My generation are the decision makers. We are united to achieve our common goal. We are the game changers. Every Friday when I'm free or Tuesday, I just pay a visit to the temple. I just make my woes. I say, God, please help me. I need to be successful. I'm just like my dad. We don't have a retirement plan. We just work until we can't work anymore. Yeah, we are workaholic. Kami adalah generasi yang kompetitif. When you start working, then there's the next race, which is to earn as much as possible to get your parents' retirement as early as possible, you know, to help them through their years. So that has been my driving force. We still have to like keep in track of the kids are coming nowadays so that we won't be far behind and yeah and in one day they'll be a millionaire and we are still our grandfather's ancient kampong house money. Basically it's just success and money. If you come from a small town, then you have that struggle. You you want to have the comfort of your home. But you also know that you you, you gotta do something on your career, you gotta know how to take care of yourself, you gotta go out there and uh, make use of your talents, make use of what you're good at and contribute back into the society. But can you do it in your own hometown successfully? At a very young age, I studied. I studied really hard. Not that hard, but hard enough. That was what drilled, that was drilled into my brain. Uh, study hard, get a good job, so that you know you get a good life, you get more money. You know. My parents' expectation was really, really high, especially for my dad. He wants everything to be perfect, no mistakes at all, but I'm a human being, everyone makes mistakes. My mom used to say, oh you know, you, you shouldn't be a homemaker. Oh, it's really hard. Uh, living in, with a high expectation from your parents was really hard because it feels like all the burdens on your shoulders and it's like everyone's looking at you your parents, other family members, siblings, cousins and such. Make sure you go for work correctly, make sure you get a good name for the family, bring good stuff back home. Okay, my mom did never expected anything out of me in terms of my career. I think they were relaxed because they lacked opportunity, so they knew that you know how much you work hard, you're not going to get anything. Um, my father told me that back in his days, even if it's a job that pays so little, I forgot what was the amount, but it's incredibly little. They would just grab onto it because every opportunity is go back then. I remember when I was a teenager, you know, my dad used to work the night shifts at his jobs and he had a camera on him and he'd go around and snap pictures of the guards who were sleeping on the job. He would come back and ask me to help him write a letter of complaint to his boss or to the management about the, you know, behavior of the staff. My parents were very uh, concerned about how we also developed spiritually. Also. So they also sent us for children classes, uh, junior spiritual empowerment programs. They come from the culture where you know they just have to feed you and clothe you and put a roof on your head. They don't have to express love or you know tell you that you can be anything you want in the world. In fact, Asian's parents will probably tell you, you better be a doctor, a lawyer or an accountant. Otherwise, I'm going to kill you. The minute we come out of school, our whole objective for our career is to take care of our parents. Being successful means being able to take care of your parents. But then, as I was, uh, as I was growing up when I was a teenager, right, I started realizing how uh, how prejudice is a big challenge for people in Malaysia. I'm not ashamed of what I've got. Of, or what I've gained through this so-called privilege because I did not rest upon it, I worked hard for it. Most of them are unhappy of the quota system because they feel it is very unjust. And I know it's a bit hard because resources are is scarce. You know, you can't basically give everything to everyone. But what I feel is fair is everyone should be rewarded based on their efforts and their contributions to this country. 
Currently, I have to choose between working and or taking care of my family. Um, I think uh, it will not be hard for me to find a job, but then uh, I think it will be hard for me to find a good job where I can also work at the same time uh, live a happy family life. In the 80s, we actually have a whole new range of careers that never existed before open up to us. I think one of the reasons people have shifted their idea of what a career is, is because of the information age. We can read more about other people's lives and the stories. So they said, oh, teacher, I want to be a dancer one day. So yeah, that, that I didn't hear during my time. That was forbidden <laughs> during my time. As I said, I'm a very pragmatic person. I do not t intend to challenge norm as then because I, I'll be wasting my parents' money. The Malaysian work culture is actually very laid back. Um, people have the habit of pursuing relationships before work. Oh no, I'm a workaholic to begin with. I was taught by my dad, if you want something, you have to earn it. I will never quit that job. Am I surviving? Yes, I am. And am I doing well? I think I am. I want to be healthy and wealthy. That's my main target. I think I need to get myself to together, yeah, to figure out what's next and uh, yeah, to figure out what's next. I think that's what I need to do uh, more urgently right now. I want to be someone who can contribute to my community. I, I want to be someone who's like that. So it's either my education or my job, I must be able to contribute to my community somehow. When you reach a certain point of time, and you look back and you see the lives that you've touched and you've seen the people that you've talked to and basically made an impact on I think that's the most rewarding part of life